Hamza says, is keeping a beard fard or sunnah in Islam? If we want to talk about sunnah and define it, and fard and define it, so the five legislative rulings, al-ahkam al mandatory, mustahab, or recommended, uh, permissible, makruh, or not recommended, and haram. These are the five, five legislative rulings. So when we come to fard and sunnah, the definition is fard or wajib is the same. Fard and wajib are the same, identical. The definition is what, when you do them, you're rewarded. And if you do, don't do them, you're sinful. You'll be punished. Sunnah is a lower degree. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. If you neglect it, you will not be sinful. So when we come to these definitions and try to apply them to the beard, without any doubt, growing, growing the beard is mandatory. It is wajib. Shaving it is totally prohibited. Not only in my point of view, but it's also in the point of view of the Hanafi school, the Shafi'i school, the Maliki school, and the Hanbali school. The four schools of thought, which most likely you are definitely the follower of one of them. They all agree that shaving it is totally prohibited. So it is mandatory. But when we come to look at it in terms of, did the prophet do it? Definitely. The companions, without any doubt. So this makes it a sunnah, meaning that the way of the prophet, not that you have the liberty to go and shave it. No, it is mandatory. But... Is Fajr prayer, Fard prayer, the way of the Prophet? Yes, then this is a Sunnah, because the Prophet did it. Was Hajj Sunnah? Yes, because the Prophet did it. So everything that the Prophet had done is considered to be Sunnah. But whether you will be sinful if you don't do it or not, this takes it to a nev a a another level of definition, which is mandatory or Fard, and Allah Azza wa knows best.